Hey guys, it's George Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you with another video. I have a couple uh, things to share that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I have a mail day uh, from a gentleman, Marky C, and he sent me a card. I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm gonna gonna get to doing that. I've been meaning to look at it, but I wanted to do it on camera. Um, I also have a, uh, a couple pickups that I've gotten and an interesting story uh, related to uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, The Natural. Also, I have an SGC reveal of two cards I dropped off of the National, and if you watch my recap video, I discussed a little bit, photo pack, 1949 photo pack of uh, Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella. Got those back from SGC not too long ago, lightning fast. So, without further ado, here we go, guys. Okay, so, I have, first things first here, I have a mail day, and uh, a friend of the channel, Mark had reached out to me and, uh, you know, we went back and forth and he was just so complimentary. Mark, thank you so much uh, for your for your wonderful comments and the communication. It's cool to be able to communicate with you. Um, and I'm glad that you enjoy what we're doing here in the channel. Uh, so Mark sent me this package right here and uh, insisted on sending me something and I really appreciate it. I haven't looked at it, but it basically says... <laughs> His YouTube ID is Marky C, but Mark says, hi, George. Hello, George. Thank you again for your insight regarding the 58 Tops All-Star Mantle. He was looking at one of those and had, had two of them he was looking at. Uh, it's very nice to say it's pe good people like you that make the hobby uh, that much better. I hope you enjoy the Dr. J. Keep up the good work collecting. Uh, sincerely, uh, Mark. So thank you so much, Mark. I'm really excited to see this. Dr. J is what he... Uh, was sent them to me, and uh, I have not looked at it, and I will try not to uh, damage anything, certainly. But anyway, Dr. J, my favorite player of basketball player, my guy, when I was growing up, um, he was always on CBS, seems like, for basketball, Dick Stockton against Larry Bird. Uh, always seemed to have a tough time. Eventually got Moses Malone on board, and they really... Uh, did a number. The 83 Sixers were just fantastic. Uh, probably one of the best NBA teams of all time. Um, so I'm going to hopefully not damage this too much and uh, take a look at this awesome Dr. J from Mark. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Wow. Thank you, Mark. Look at this. Select swatches, Julius Irving, Sixers. Wow, look at that shine. This is just awesome. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, man, this is so cool. I'm trying to mess my camera up here, but I really want to read this. Let's see here. Oh, number to 99. At age 37 and approaching retirement, Dr. J could still operate at an elite level. Two nights after scoring 38 points versus Indiana, including his 30,000th point of his career, Irving posted a double-double, 24 points, 11 rebounds, and won his final regular season contest April 19, 1987 at Washington. So cool, man. Thank you so much, Mark. This is awesome. I love the doc I love the J with the, oh, the 70s. They got the afro going on and that Sixers uniform. Just so cool. Wow. This is going to go on the Jackie. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, wow. So uh, what I have for you also is uh, John Mangini had given me one of these really cool Our National Game pens uh, at the National. And so that's the 38 Joe DiMaggio Our National Game pen. And so, you know, John... Made me start thinking. He mentioned, I think there was a feller, and I went online and I picked up this beautiful 38 hour national game feller. And it's, you know, these things are a little, it's tough to find a nice one, but it's a 38, I guess you could say a rookie um, feller. Uh, so this thing was not that expensive at all. And these pins are just so cool. So we got Jolton Joe and Rapid Robert, two of the greatest players of the 30s and the 40s, all timers. Um, the next card I was looking for at the National, and this man, his name is Eddie Waitkiss, and as you guys know, I'm very 
much into the movie The Natural. You can see Roy Hobbs in the background. Well, Eddie Waitkiss uh, is The Natural is loosely based on Mr. Waitkiss uh, and many other baseball mythologies, like, you know, many other c characters in baseball history. I mean, you know, who's the Iowa farm boy at the end of the at the end of the, the movie pitching to him? And could that be Bob Feller? Um, but anyway, Eddie Waitkiss was an all star um, and he was shot, though, by one of the first cases of stalking. He was a Chicago uh Chicago Cub, then he went off to the war, came back, and Eddie was, um, played with the Cubs, and this woman uh, was infatuated with him, and from what I can recall, he uh, ended up, um, he got traded, or he went over to the Phillies, and uh, and then she had kind of stalked him, one of the earliest cases of stalking, and uh, said that she was an old friend of his, and met him up in a hotel room, uh, and then she shot him. And I guess it went through his lung and barely missed his heart. And uh, he missed, this was in June of 1949, June, and he missed the rest of the season and would come back uh, to be leadoff hitter for the Whiz Kids in 1950 for the Philadelphia Phillies. So Eddie Waitkiss, uh, they called him the natural. Uh, some people did for the way that he swung the stick. Uh, and he would be a multiple-time all-star. Uh, not a huge power hitter, but... Uh, definitely a good ball player. And uh, again, The Natural is not completely based on him, but loosely, and Bernard Malmud would write The Natural in the early 1950s. Uh, many major league clubs tried to obtain this top fielding first sacker from the Cubs last season, and the Phillies landed him. Uh, he has never hit below 292 in the majors. His 1947 average uh, joined the Cubs in 46 after his service. Uh, and discharge hit 304 last season he hit 296 and started in pro ball in 1939 so he would have a, i believe around an 11 year career in pro ball uh, and this is mr eddie wakis so ironically uh the last thing is a brooklyn dodgers photo pack now i picked up this photo pack years ago maybe three years ago from somebody who lived in brooklyn and uh, got it for not much. Um, and I've been collecting these photo packs. And this, of course, you know, is Campanella in it and Jackie Robinson. When I received it, um, the, this was the envelope. And boy, it was in great shape. And it had a date on it here of July 19th, 1949, Tuesday. And uh, ironically, this is a little bit more than a month after Eddie Waitkiss was shot. And... It would have been more ironic, frankly, if they had played uh, the Phillies on that day. But the Dodgers would play on this day, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they would beat them four to three. In the final uh, final hit, I can't. I had it up on my computer, but uh, they won the game four to three in the bottom of the ninth. Duke Snyder had walked to lead off the inning. Gene Hermansky hit a single. I believe the pitcher sacrifice bunted, and then. Um, the, a catcher came up and it wasn't Campanella and got a hit. Anyway, so these were beautiful. This was beautiful. And I got these and I thought, man, I really wish, you know, I was going to get them graded by PSA, but I'm waiting for years. And they don't grade these photo packs for the Brooklyn Dodgers from 49. They grade the 47 photo pack, uh, which has the Jackie rookie. They grade, I believe, the 48 photo pack. They grade the 48 photo pack uh, Cleveland Indians, which I have a satchel page of. They don't grade the 49, but these were just in such beautiful condition. Here's a Gil Hodges um, that I had, that was part of it. Um, you can see just the centering is really, really well, really good. These are real crispy. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of them. There's, here's the Pee Wee, and I've shown these on my channel before, but I was trying to determine which ones I was going to send off for PSA or for SGC to grade. And then the National came around, and I said, well, heck, I might as well just not send them off and risk anything in the mail. I'll just take them with me uh, to Atlantic City. Here's a Don Newcomb. Uh, and Don Newcomb would actually start this game on July 19th of 1949. And he would go six innings and give up, I believe it was three earned runs. Uh, Jackie Robinson, I believe, would go 0 for 4. And his batting average would drop to 359. Um, I don't believe Campanella got a hit either. Uh, there would be a young outfield that would play in that game named Ralph Kiner for the Pittsburgh Pirates. 
This is a beautiful Duke Snyder. And some of these pictures you've seen on baseball cards, uh, and you're gonna see one here. So I thought, and this is just you know my experience, but I thought that these photo packs, I thought the Campanella was gonna get a seven, and I thought the Jackie was going to get an eight. Uh, I thought these photo packs were just really, really nice, but Jesse's, SGC is tough, tough, tough lately. So, um, and tough in general. Man, look at this, Dr. J, I'm just so pumped. Thank you, Marky C, appreciate it, man. Man, very cool jersey card. Wow. Um, so, the Campanella is the same picture as 50 Bowman, and the, technically this is a Campanella rookie, 1949 photo pack, beautiful photo pack, of Roy Campanella. And this got an SGC six. And I mean, I can't really complain about it because I mean, this is actually the highest graded. Um, there's another, there's another six by SGC. Uh, Beckett does grade these, uh, PSA does not, but these things are just beautiful. This is the same image as the 1950 Bowman Roy Campanella, but this would be his first photo pack card with uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers. So that was just something that I just thought was so cool. Um, hopefully this will hold it up. Oh, it will not, so we'll lean it against the natural. So the next one is the Jackie Robinson. And the grade on this one, again, um, I was thinking an eight. I thought this thing was an eight all day long, but it did, still got a, a great grade. Whoa, and it got a seven. So this seven is the highest graded one. Uh, by SGC. Now, there's not a whole lot graded, uh, but either way, beautiful, beautiful uh, Jackie Robinson. Uh, and uh, he does have a photo pack 47 and a photo, photo pack in 48. But I just have always thought I've held on to this card for about four or five, uh, three or four years and just been waiting to get it slabbed. And I mean, these are paper thin, so it's very important not to. Um, you know, to keep them in great condition. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you checking this out. Um, Marky C, thank you so much. Awesome, awesome Dr. J jersey card. Uh, hope you learned a little bit about Eddie Waitkiss today uh, and uh, those are national game pins. Thank you, John Mangini. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep collecting.